Hey, I'm Madison. I'm 20 years old and two weeks ago I broke my ankle skateboarding. And about one week ago I got surgery on it. I got some screws and plates put in um, just to stabilize it. And I don't let it stop me from doing anything from getting around the house, getting out of the house. And in two weeks from now, I have a modeling competition to go to, and I'm not going to let it stop me from going. That being said, don't forget about rice. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. The four main keys of breaking an ankle or spraining any part of your body. Here's a couple videos of me getting in and out of my house just to motivate y'all and, and get you on your toes because cabin fever sucks. <laughs> All right, so for going downstairs, if you have a handrail, use it holding on with one hand and have your crutches in the other hand. Put your crutches down on the step below and extend your weaker leg slightly in front of you. Check your balance and proceed to hop down to the next step. When walking with crutches, make sure you have good posture and don't lean on your crutches. Support your weight from your hands and not your armpits. Wear supportive and comfortable shoes for balance and don't rush. People will understand that you can't walk as fast as usual. Just a quick tip, use a backpack for carrying items around, even if you're just at home. But if you don't have one, don't be afraid to ask. Also, if you're going down or up narrow stairs, move up and down on your bum like when you were a little kid. It's so much easier. And for going upstairs, bend the knee on your weaker leg, having your foot behind you. Keeping your crutches on the step that you're standing on, hop to the next step up. Again, keeping your balance in check. Remember to surround yourself with positively impacting family members or friends who will encourage you to get better. Hey, I'm making this video to prove to everybody that nothing can stop you if you set your mind to it. Just keep going.